Good day! I am Brian J. M. Kavigin. From Section K1, 21 years of age, I currently live in Butuan City, taking the course Bachelor of Science in Mining Engineering. Good day, Sir Johnny Bulongaita. I am here today to answer the question, are you an ethical person? What does it take to be an ethical person? What does ethical even mean? Is being ethical important as a person? To be ethical, one must be knowledgeable of what is right and what is wrong. Ethical comes from the wor Greek word ethos, which means moral character and refers to someone or anything that is morally right, truthful, fair, and honest. According to the dictionary, ethical refers to dealing with morals or moral principles. It also refers to what is good and what is wrong in behavior. Going back to the question, are you an ethical person? People think too much about this and complicates things. For me, to be an ethical person, you just have to, to be thoughtful of your actions and what might it do and what might it result to. You just have to think before you act. Many might think that sometimes what you are doing is ethically wrong but it does not conform with the social norm but you act on it because you believe that the very thing you did is morally correct. I can proudly say that I am an ethical person for a fact that in most things that I do, I always consider what could it result to or what it would be the result or the possible outcome of the very thing that I did. Let me give you an example. This is, an, this is a real life experience, a real life example of me being an ethical person per se. One day I was at work. I was the supervisor at that time. It was very busy until afternoon around 1.30 p.m. My staffs were getting a little bit tired. Some of them went on their breaks and ate out side and inside the kitchen of the store I am supervising in. I had one staff that was pretty hungry. He was still a trainee and that he was getting a little bit tired because he was the one cleaning the tables, washing the dishes, carrying heavy stuff, and etc. But he cannot complain for this is the work that he applied for. When he takes his break, he comes up to me and says, Sir, can I have some rice only a cup and a half of rice is good enough then i said yes you can have a cup of rice but stick to your one and a half cup of rice and after that he thanked me for giving him consent to get rice from the kitchen what i did for my staff is what i thought was the right thing to do but our manager says no his rules are no staff or employee may, may get any kind of food from the kitchen. Me, as a supervisor, looking at my staff, hungry, tired, and has no money, I do the right thing and I let him have rice. My decision may not conform with my boss's norm, but I empathize the situation of my staff but later on, I used my own money to buy rice that, to replace the rice that he took from his lunch, for his lunch rather. Because to be an ethical person, I have to be empathetic and be respectful at the same time. Empathetic in the sense that I have to do the right thing even if it may seem wrong to someone like, like my boss. I had to do it because my staff was hungry and tired. But I also respected the, the boss or my boss's rules and replaced the rice with what my staff took. There is that balance of helping others but also respecting others' property. Nobody is perfect. We are all just humans in this world. We make mistakes and we make up for them. We learn from them and we grow wiser from them. We must always think before we do. Only when you come to a point where you are at a disadvantage and 
you still do what you think is right no matter how the situation treats you you still do the ethical and moral thing to do in this end i say that our actions truly define ourselves that is all thank you